What you doing, Chris? There's a bee on that one. <laughs> you can tell the wind's beating them up a little bit. <laughs> Look at the sunflowers. They chose the very last day that we were here to say hello. <laughs> so freaking cool. <laughs> Is it the first? I think today is the first. <laughs> but uh, we were planning on leaving today, but I guess we're gonna finish up and leave tomorrow. Yeah, because I don't want to leave um, anything wrong with the house. I want to uh, focus on getting our deposit back. Look at the yard. It's <laughs> empty. Everything's gone. All the plants that we had left, we took them over to our friend Debbie's house. So they're over there safe. Um, I mean, we're almost done. Yeah, still gotta pack up the fire pit. And I guess we're gonna throw that wood in the back of the truck, take that with us. Take it camping? Yeah, <laughs> be some wood to burn. So if I, had, if I had tried to plan on planting these at some particular time to where they would blossom, on July 1st, <laughs> there's no way I could have planned that. There, there is no way. But God was like, here you go, Holly. You can see your sunflowers before you leave. Well, these <laughs> these sunflowers, they're, are they called mammoth sunflowers, I think? They get like, yeah. about this big. They're, they get huge. Yeah. Like the sun. And we're not going to get to see that. Yeah, and then and you get a lot of sunflower seeds out of them. Oh, look at the bee. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> so that's really exciting. It's really awesome that they just popped open on July 1st. And it was just a little sign from God that said we're going to be all right. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> Thanks to our awesome freaking YouTube family. Oh my oh god. <laughs> Ooh, we have some high hopes in getting us to play a house. Oh right? my gosh, so they, they lit a fire under our butts. And to date, what, it's been the sec this is the second day. Third. Third, well, yeah, yeah. The second day that we actually yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, we are at $6,000. Wow. <laughs> yep. So... Definitely have a down payment. <laughs> yes. For sure. Yes. So. Um, but, but keep it coming. We can <laughs> just go buy a house. Yes. You know. If if we can possibly buy a fixer upper in cash. Oh my gosh, that would be. That's going to be the way to go. Yeah. So. God willing. But thank you, everyone. Oh my gosh. He just duped me. He just duped me. That's true. Let's go in the garage. This is Kim. Hey Kim, it's Chris. Pat. Hi. Um, it's Chris at 1889. Yes, sir. Yeah, we'd like to uh, schedule a walkthrough. Um, we don't do that with the tenants. Once I have the keys back, then I'll go and do one. What are we supposed oh. to do with the keys? You can bring, just you just bring them to the office and if we're, the office is closed, we've got a drop box outside, out the parking lot, like across from our door. Um, you'll see it's, it's like tan and on a pole. We would, I mean, we would like someone, we would like someone to walk through and tell us what needs to be done because we have the house clean and I just want to make sure that we get our deposit back. So uh, I'd we, like- We, we just, we, we're not allowed to do that. We, we just don't. We just we just aren't allowed to do that. To walk through and let us know how to how to make sure that we get our deposit back. Yeah, we don't. We do not do a walk through with the tenants. Why don't you guys see if you can buy a couple weeks or something? Okay. Well. Uh, okay. All righty. Thank you. That was. Yeah. And then just leave the keys in the drop box if our office is open. Okay. And that should when should that be? All righty. All right, thank All right. you. Bye. We actually called them and we were like, we would like to make an appointment to do like a walkthrough. And they're like, we don't do that. Like, what? You don't do a walkthrough? 
Like, wouldn't that guarantee that you get your house fixed if there's anything yeah, that's wrong? Yeah, we're like, yeah, we'd like to do a walkthrough and, you know, see if there's any, make sure, you know, everything's good. And they're like, we we're, we can't do that. Just bring the keys and drop them in the drop box. What are they scared of? Oh, they were weird. What, that we put in like a, a rodent control request yeah. and they ignored it? Yeah. Is that what they're scared of? Yeah. Or are they scared that they never fix the floor and there's still staples sticking out of it? I don't know. They're After shady. all this time. All right, Eliana. Anyway. We're going to teach you how to spackle some holes. This was our art room, so we hung like a lot we of stuff in here. So much stuff. <laughs> um, that's so, going to require some. So we're going to try our best. Okay. Here. So what you want to do mm -hmm. is you take your spackle. You mm -hmm. see the little hole right there? Yep. You just kind of like squeeze a little bit on. Okay. <gasps> it's not <laughs> white. No, it dries pink. It dries white. Pink. Oh. <laughs> Well, here, how about I give you, you can either use this or a card, and I'm thinking a card will be... He can use a spatula. <laughs> you know, a spatula thing. He's, no. he's pretty handy. No, you don't tools. use that. Look, look. Use a scraper, dude. You go like this. You just kind of scrape it on until it's flat. And then when it dries, we're going to paint over it with some white paint. So this is like free child labor. <laughs> so I'm going to just have you patch all these holes. Well, mommy go, goes to drink her cinnamon latte. Is that cool? Yeah. <laughs> squish it out. Yeah, squish it into the hole. There you go. Alright. <laughs> squish it a little bit more. Don't fill up the hole inside go. of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Squish it right there. Okay. Dang, and that then... was pretty accurate, Elion. You did good. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> He's got some and coordination. Then, there you go, and then flatten it, and then when it's all flat, you just let it dry. Okay. Now we're gonna let it dry, and that's gonna dry white. And we're gonna do that to all of them. Really? Yep. Yep, and we're gonna go around and... <laughs> because I really, really want to get our deposit back. Heck yeah, it'll go towards their house fun and camping. Yes, so... I'm thinking if we um, if we do this, what? the only rooms that aren't wood in this house is this art room and the bathroom. Yeah. So I'm thinking if we just did. And open. that's the only damage we've done to yeah, the whole the house. Yeah, that's the only damage we've done. Is just holes in the wall and these walls to hang pictures, and then in the bathroom we hung pictures. Yeah, we're picture and That's makers. it. So. So we. But we I mean, when we moved in, the floors look yeah. like complete shit, <laughs> just like they do now. The floors and don't look any different than. No. I did it. Give me and I mean, really, that doesn't look much worse than that. Really, that cheap crap. But, but that wasn't our fault. That was the water heater that caused caused that. But yeah, these floors they look like a barn when we moved in here. So. And then, of course, the walls, I mean, all of this is just wood like this, so all the rest of the house. Good, good, good job, Elion. So we're hoping, even though these people are super shady, <laughs> we're still hoping we're going to get our dang deposit back. I prayed about but it we don't know. I was like, God, please, just let everything go smoothly. Like, we have PTSD from landlords. <laughs> Straight up. From, yeah. You laugh, but you know it's true. Right? Yeah. We have PTSD from landlords. And I don't want to, I don't want anything bad to happen this time. I just want it to be smooth sailing. <laughs> I want to get our deposit back and go yeah. camping. <laughs> okay. Well, you know they can keep it up to 30 days. <laughs> Of course. Considered a of course, account. Of course they want their deposit before yeah. you move in, but they can take 30 days to give it back to you. Yeah. I can't All I know is if we leave it in good condition and we know that we tried everything that we could and they still keep our deposit, I'm saying God bless them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I am, guess so. God will handle that. Like. God says, let, let, let the root, you know, let him, 
do the vengeance because I don't, I am so tired. I just want to go sit under a waterfall and drink a pina colada and not worry about. I hope we can find a cool waterfall <laughs> or a nice swimming hole to camp by or something. Sliding rock. That's where I want to go. Yeah, I had to look it up. I don't know about the camping around there. Yeah. I mean, we could pay for some camping, just not. Yeah, I don't. Well, I not wanna, the whole time. I want to pay for as little as humanly possible. Yeah. So that whatever, whatever we have for the home fund. Yeah. For the house raising, like whatever we raise. Oh yeah, we're not trying to spend that. No. I want. No, I'm not saying spend it, but I, I would like to like spend as little of our money as possible, yeah. so they so can we go can add to it. That. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, because if we put the donations with our own money and, you know, maybe we will really have enough to get into a house and not have to worry about it after, after the summer. The yeah. summer is all about fun, but after that, <laughs> I want to I get into a house. I yeah. want to get into a house. Yeah. So that's... Like that's a, I, I'm shooting for like a month, take a month freaking vacation and then get back to work yeah yeah we're tired right now we need a break but shoot we get bored we're not I am we're so not weird. doing stuff on like, projects and stuff like i have been thinking like the, the like these state candles i was on a roll like i made what three or four so yeah far. i was on a roll man uh-huh and i was like i was gonna take a road trip to arkansas and make those candles <laughs> And now we're like, we're back to square one. And I'm just like, I just want a candle shop so I can get back to my candles. Yeah, I but you, so have to, you have to look at it like in a positive way. Look how far we have come since we lived here. Yeah. Look how much I built for the wood shop, the workbenches, the miter saw station, the cabinets that I made and stuff that I gathered and got together. I mean, we really moved up since we've moved here. I really did a lot of work on that stuff. Yeah. So, so that's a lot of work that I accomplished that I'm going to move right back into the next spot. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and then I don't have to do that work. I'm like that much Imagine ahead. Imagine setting up you your know. wood shop knowing that it's yours. And yeah. You don't have to ever do it again. Yeah. You set it up just how you want it. Yeah, then I can start with dust collection and all the stuff that I want to do. <laughs> yes. Yep. Please let me try it. And I vow never to have my candle shop in your dusty old wood shop mm. ever again. Well, it would be best for us if we hunt for a house that already has a shop. Yeah. You know, I could build you a candle shop easy. That's pretty easy yeah, to like build. Yeah, shed. Yeah, it's easy to build a nice size shed for like a candle shop. Yeah. It's a lot of work and money to actually build a wood shop or a workshop that big. You gotta do the ones that are so, high. So we really do need to shoot for a house that has a shop yeah, already. True. It's out there. Oh yeah. I don't know how that happened. Is that something he Elion was, did? Yeah, I bought paint to cover. Can we wash it? Oh. No, I tried. I tried bleaching it. Oh. It's freaking tie dye ink. Oh. It's not coming off. Oh. So I bought uh, flat so white paint. So he sprayed the ink on there. Yep. And then the bleach kind of turned it brown. <laughs> we're gonna get. We're gonna get this room off. I mean, the worst room. You bought paint? Yeah, just flat white. It was the cheapest one I could find. Maybe we'll room. get lucky and it'll actually match. Yeah, right? That'd be cool. The worst room was this one with all the holes. That was the worst. Like, yeah, once yeah. we fix the holes and, and paint yeah. it, like, there's, we yeah. didn't do any damage to this place. No, uh-uh. So. That's kind of, I think that's sort of like a normal thing anyway, hanging pictures and stuff. But they put it in the lease. Of course. You're not allowed to. Yeah, whatever. So that's why I'm going to all the trouble. <laughs> yeah, but we're fixing it. Yeah. So. 
They, because they know that people like to have their house a home, yeah. they're gonna hang stuff. But it's it's just an excuse to keep the deposit. Yeah. But yeah. I'm covering all the holes and I'm painting, so it's not gonna be an excuse. I thought this. I guess this rental place really isn't that big of a place. It's just the owner that owns it, and I guess they just have a certain amount of rental houses. It's kind of weird how shady they are. Right. But like, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to talk too much crap because, good lord. No, nah, whatever. I mean, yeah. but they are shady though. But they're they're we weird. We asked them to walk through so that we. I, yeah. We just wanted to walk through so that you could tell us what you wanted us to fix to get our deposit back. Yeah. And she's just like, no, no. We can't do that. You need to drop we're, your keys. No, she off. said we're not allowed to do I that. Mean, come on. But they can come every three, every quarter yeah, they, and they inspect your house. Inspection. Yeah. <laughs> They literally show show up like every, I guess, yeah. three months to come do an inspection, come in the house and take yeah. pictures and all that. Yeah. But then when it comes to time to get your deposit back, they're like, oh, no, nah, we, we can't come inspect now. Uh -uh. <laughs> what the heck, man? So weird. How do you get what the heck? Dad? Daddy, you got tiny scissors. Yeah, leave those in my bag. Those what? are my old man hair trimming scissors. <laughs> Trim nose hairs and ear hairs, what do you mustache do with hairs. What do you do with this? You comb your eyebrows. Comb <laughs> <laughs> oh, your eyebrows? I don't know. It's a little comb in there. What? With, it's Can a I little mean, comb in here with the you're scissors. You're a monster. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need to comb? Let's see if I'm any good at uh, color matching. <laughs> I got a, a flat white paint. <laughs> no real thought went into it, but I'm gonna see if we can cover this weird green stuff that Elion painted all over the wall. Huh, looks like a pretty dang good match, actually. Dang right. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh-huh. Before and after. <laughs> cool. I think I picked a good one. Get it loaded up. Pretty much have all of our stuff divided in boxes. Ah. <laughs> uh. That way we can kind of know where stuff is, sort of. So we filled up two storage units. We actually need a third, but we have a really awesome friend who is letting us store a bunch of stuff at her house for a little while while we're camping. And her shed. Yep. So we're going to take a bunch of stuff over to her house and figure out what we want to take camping with us. That's not really a bunch of stuff. It's well, it's a third. It's the leftover. Yeah. Few things that we kind of don't want to give up. I don't want to give up our couch, but. Uh, that couch is so dang heavy. I am not. I even, love that couch. I don't even have energy to freaking <laughs> do that dang thing. I don't have my knife thing. So we got all the holes patched in the walls. There are no holes and there are no ink stains anymore. <laughs> So it looks pretty good in here. It wasn't a perfect match. You can kind of see where I painted a little bit, but as far as the holes, they're completely gone. And I guess you can say this room is primed <laughs> and they can paint it whatever color they want. But the damage has been repaired. Yeah. been a lot of work the past month or so uh, I had this whole place full of tools workbenches cabinets all kinds of wood oh my goodness the big dressers Wow but I have to say it was definitely a blessing that we found this place and we were here for a year I had my wood shop set up for a year and built all kinds of cool stuff. So it's definitely been a blessing. 
of course you always have your positives and negatives and you just have to uh, focus on the positives and and just know that you're blessed you know and and uh, this shop helped me get a lot of stuff built my workbenches and everything so hopefully my next shop will be even a better blessing than this was I am looking so forward to moving all that stuff into the next spot so so we're really praying that we can find a place with another work area where we can just set things up but if we have to uh, work on building one I guess that's just what we got to do but I'm praying that we can find a place that already has a workshop like I care more about a work area and a place to be creative more than I really do the house <laughs> rain it's a sprinkle. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> there ain't no sprinkle. It's, it's, it's coming. That's been one awesome thing about this kitchen is this view. I, okay, now that you said that, I have to have a window in my kitchen now. Yeah. I mean, that, that has taught me that I need that. Yeah, this is awesome. Because if there wasn't a window there, you'd be like just sitting there looking at a, whoops, uh -huh. looking at a wall. You know what I mean? But yeah. it's like so enjoyable when you're cutting up. Yeah. Fruits yep. And Anytime I'm sitting here juicing, I just I have my stool sitting right here, and I just sit there on the cutting board and just. So yeah, a window installed fruit. in the kitchen has to have. Oh, and another one I love is like when I'm in here, and I'm in this awesome bathroom when I'm peeing. <laughs> I can stand here and pee and have me a nice view too. This house a lot of great windows and when I'm peeing I can see what's going on in the yard <laughs> see the sunflowers from here yeah I would have to say the the top the top awesome thing about this house is the fact that whoever built this place whoever lived here knew that they wanted yeah. they wanted and this and this is one reason that we're we're not trying to like get any money back out of these people or do anything like that because it's been such a blessing living yeah. here it really has we've been blessed for a year and i mean i'm not blaming them 100 percent. i could have went and got a tank or rented a tank but i just didn't want to i don't want an extra bill for a stove just like the only gas thing in the house you know what yeah. i mean and if we if we did fill the tank imagine how much gas we would be leaving behind yeah. when we're leaving right now you know what i mean so i just didn't want to do it so we were happy we cooked on the grill we had the electric eyelets that we used on the yeah on the electric the cooker the only thing i want is i mean i would love to get our deposit back because that yeah. can help yeah i mean all the money that we're raising through uh gofundme and through paypal imagine if, if we, we had, had another yeah dollars to add to that yeah that would be amazing so but we're not betting on it we don't know these people yeah. seem a little shady so we don't know we're we're just gonna see what happens if we don't get our deposit back it's just a god bless you kind of thing we're yeah. not gonna do anything about it we hope that there's a blessing and we do get it back but if we don't, it's we're just gonna hey, God bless you, and we're gonna move on yep. because we've been blessed so much by the people who've been donating. Yeah, that's a huge blessing, a huge blessing. Well, looks like we're taking a break today, <laughs> which we're um, we're pretty much done. People are like, oh, I thought you had to be out on the first. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to be out today, but we're not no, leaving. No, today's the second. Today's the second. Uh huh. Oh dang. Well, whatever. We're just hanging around because we made that phone call and asked him to walk through the house. Yeah. Because, so yeah. they didn't want to do that. But maybe we can just like be here. <laughs> <laughs> They're just going to show up. We're just going to, hey, let's go walk through. <laughs> yep. Are you ready now? But anyway, we're leaving tomorrow for sure. We're pretty much done with this place. We just have a little bit of stuff to get out and put it in the trailer. We got to return our internet boxes and. But we just have a little bit of stuff left to grab, put it in the trailer, and then we're we're out tomorrow for sure. Yeah. And we don't want to go camping until after the fourth because we know it's going to be a little busy. Yeah. What a time to be to yeah. go camping on July fourth when yeah. everything is booked. We never end up doing anything for the fourth. We never end up doing anything in good timing. You remember that one time we ended up doing a a fat a juice fast. <laughs> 
Oh, we were no, like, no, yeah, no, we're no, gonna no, do no, a, no. we're gonna do a juice fest oh, for a our week. Oh, redneck friends like, yeah, here, right? yeah, everybody's partying, and we're and like, we're eating fruits and yeah, vegetables. we're like, dang, we picked a heck of a time to do a fast. <laughs> Good lord, we're check this out. I can't lie, I think this is uh, the clean, the cleanest our backyard has been since pretty much we've lived here. <laughs> Uh, all the plants are gone. Planters. I gave my planter, uh, raised planter, whatever, pots to the neighbor next door. They said they wanted them, so. But, it's looking pretty clean. Kind of put down some nice mulch where the fire pit was and the grass kind of, we killed the grass a little bit in that little circle. So Holly put down some mulch and some soil right there to kind of... I guess we could sprinkle some grass seed on it. Do we have grass seed? I mean, it's not that much to get it, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. Well, guys, um, we told you that we had mice here. <laughs> well, look what we found. Time mice. Yep. <laughs> So we're hoping that, I, I, I got this little, um, this is like a little fur coat that I had, whatever fake fur coat. So I'm putting him in here. He does seem a little bit cold, but I'm thinking maybe, maybe his mom will come back for him if we just, oh gosh, he's so tiny. So tiny. Yeah, I'm so tiny. So we'll put him on the ground in this little fur coat and maybe his mom will come back for him. We shall see, but this is what you gotta deal with when you got mice in your house. But we still have hearts. I don't want anything to happen to him. Can we keep him? No, cause he's too tiny. <laughs> He's so tiny, we wouldn't even know how to feed a baby this tiny. And we have to go camp. There's, we have so many responsibilities. We'll just, um, here, Elion, let's put him down here. And maybe his mom will come back. <laughs> what you got? Uh, so we've been feeding the baby mouse a tiny little bit of milk. We put the milk on our finger and give the mouse a little tiny little drop of milk and he really likes it. <laughs> we are gonna try to keep him alive until his mom comes back because all the mice come out at night. So they'll come and get him tonight. We just gotta keep him alive and keep him warm until tonight. So we've been keeping him warm, feeding him milk, <laughs> and hoping that his mom comes back to get him That tonight. is milk. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Chris said he's packing and I'm playing with mice. <laughs> okay, so I know I'm weird, but there's a mouse update. <laughs> he's actually very active. I fed him like three times now. Hollywood save a mouse. <laughs> I know, it's so weird. And? But it's just because he's helpless and I'm all for the underdog, you know what I mean? And? <laughs> So I put a heating pad here underneath this little coat and he is chilling. He is warm and I'm going to turn off the lights in the kitchen. He's fine. I just fed him. I'm going to turn off the lights in the kitchen <laughs> and I put some peanuts and stuff right here to attract the other mice. So I'm just going to turn off the lights and pray that his mom or another mouse comes and saves him. And? He'll be warm for the and, night though. And? <laughs> Say a little prayer for the mouse that his mommy gonna come get him. Yep, and I found this part for this. <laughs> we were cleaning out all the, we were cleaning out inside the kitchen and this was up inside of one of the cupboards. It's been there for the past year. The whole time we've lived here, we never noticed it. So, Elion thought that was pretty cool. So we're gonna, we're gonna take that with us. And I found a piece for it. 
<laughs> you did. You did? <laughs> awesome! Yay! <laughs> All right, so it's time to be quiet and let the little mouse chill out. He is chilling right now. He's nice and warm. And God's will be done. God will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. <laughs> All right. Good night, baby mouse. So I woke up and made some coffee and mouse update, he is gone. <laughs> what? Yeah. Hey Eliana, guess what? What? Guess what? What? The baby mouse. Mm -hmm. His mom picked him up. <gasps> his mom came and got him. <laughs> Yep, she sure did. I woke up this morning and he was gone. And all the peanuts that I had laid out, they're all gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's cool, right? No. He's with his mommy. But I want to keep it. Really? You don't want him to be with his mommy? How would you feel if you didn't get to be with your mommy? You'd be sad, right? He's way happier with his mommy than he would be with us. Uh, well, I think this is about it. Uh, we got to uh, return our internet stuff. It sucks. I guess we're going to have to mail that to them because they're closed today and we're like heading out today. So, I don't know. Maybe Debbie will return it for us. Yeah, maybe. But uh, we pretty much got everything out of here. We just have like a couple little things we still got to get. But uh, man, we pretty much clean this whole dang house out. Whew. It has been some work, man. I have to say, this is a pretty cool big closet. That was pretty cool to have. Big old closet. We don't have any light in here, but... Uh, this is pretty much how we're leaving it. Oh, we probably should grab our uh, laundry detergent and dryer fabric thingies. Dryer sheets. Here's the kitchen. We still got to grab some of our food. <laughs> but, uh places pretty clean have a little bit of a couple things I gotta put all this stuff in the cooler and grab us a bag of ice oh ice cream we need to throw that away oh, I want to bring the ice cream this is actually funny okay we've got we moved in I guess we moved in 13 months ago because they gave us an extra month right yeah. Okay, when we first moved in, it was like the first week we were here. I yeah. Think this is so funny. I put this light bulb in the first week we moved here. That was 13 months ago. And it's been on it's the whole never, time. It's never been turned yeah. off. It's yeah. been on for 13 months. Yeah. And I'm thinking it's such a good light bulb that I would like to, you know, have a ceremonial moment of silence. <laughs> As I turn it off for the first time in 13 months. And mom? Daddy. What light bulb is it? Did we buy that? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh. That light bulb is like, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Been working for 13 months. We are going to find out what light bulb is it yeah. because I want. I want our whole house full of these light bulbs. Yeah, I don't know what kind that is. So is it hot? Yeah. Uh, All right, the, let's see. I can't do the buyer. This is Econo. Eco no, smart. Yeah, Eco smart. Yep. Eco smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, put it back in there. They can have it. You've maybe, been a good light bulb. Maybe it'll last the next people a year. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we uh, this place is 
All of our stuff is out. I clean the refrigerator, I clean the microwave. This room is, is done. The bathroom, the toilet, the shower. Yep, yep. Um, I didn't have to clean the oven because it doesn't work. We're even leaving them a shower curtain. Yep. And a bathtub. And a bathtub. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I guess we're leaving them this nice shower head too. So that's pretty much it. So we did clean. We did clean the um, the refrigerator, but we gotta get all of this food. Yeah, out. I gotta go get a bag of ice and throw all so, this in the cooler because I want to keep that jelly and salad dressing. And I cannot imagine what in the world they could possibly say we damaged. So like, there's no damages. There's yeah. no way. There's no way. So. And the We're yard, <laughs> the yard out there is cleaner than has been in a year because of all of our stuff out there. Yep. So we cleaned up all of our stuff and, so. but yep, the garage is empty. Mm -hmm. Finally. But yeah. No, we're going to take what? Uh, something new. <laughs> <laughs> something new. <laughs> Well, we have to thank all of our wonderful YouTube family members. Y'all have been really, really blessing us through our GoFundMe and yes. our PayPal and our Cash App. You have been so wonderful. Everybody, our whole YouTube family is just coming together to help us get a new place. And it is amazing. It makes me feel like... I mean, a couple weeks ago, I was feeling pretty sad. I really was. I was feeling kind of down. I just didn't know what what was the next move, what was the next step. And now I feel like doors are opening without us even asking. I mean, these people raised money for us without us even asking. And I feel like God's presence is all around us. We are going to be okay. This summer is just going to be, you know, we're just going to go camping and spend some time as a family. and. So you know, all donations that are raised for our new home are going into a savings account that is not going to be touched and we are going to be completely transparent with that savings account. I upload, um, I upload the numbers every night to Circle of Friends on Facebook. So if you guys have not joined Circle of Friends, please do that because they get the information before anyone on YouTube gets any of the information. So join Circle of Friends and we will keep you guys updated on all the funds that we have raised for our new home because and hopefully for circle of friends maybe while we're camping and recording videos maybe we could share at least some clips yeah sharing, sharing clips to circle of friends is so easy because we can just yeah. do it with our phones yeah and, so and we don't so, even yeah yeah so we'll so try easy. to do some updates on there while we're camping and keep y'all informed yeah. like what we're doing and of course we're going to be making camping videos that's another thing i wanted to say we're about to leave here today and we're just kind of winging it. I'm going to go to my brother's house for probably a day or two and hang out and uh, get our pedal boat. Because we want to take our pedal boat with us camping. Because we're going to be kind of mostly probably camping where we won't even have electricity. Like it's going to be like some cool laid back. We just want to go set up the tent, swim, pedal boat, and fish, and camp, and just try to relax for at least like a week. Okay, so quite a few of you have actually asked if you can send donations to our P.O. Box. And I think Chris has a good point when it comes to the P.O. Box. We're going to be hours away. Probably four or five, maybe even further at times. So you can send small things like envelopes to our P.O. Box. But please don't do, I hate to say it, but please don't send like the Amazon and the bigger stuff because it, once it gets piled up they start freaking out and they call us and they're like you got to come get your stuff and we don't want that to happen while we're out camping four or five hours away and end well, up Debbie, having well, no, to drive we don't want to have to drive all the way back just to <sighs> check the p.o box so so if you could just hold off on that for sure we're gonna keep you filled in yeah with some stuff on the circle of friends just to let y'all know what we're up to and that we're still out camping having fun or whatever's yeah. going on just so you'll know just know that we're feeling very positive every new beginning comes from some other beginnings end and this is the end of the adventures at the red house see you later big red house 
if you guys are, are new here or you want to just um, see what we've been doing over the past year, that we actually do have a playlist. It's our it's our you know red house playlist, which shows you know from the day that we moved in until today. So yeah, and all your all your views, sharing, and uh, especially letting our ads play helps tremendously. So for the people that you know are having financial troubles like us and you can't donate just letting the ads play and sharing like, helps tremendously share. so, so <laughs> yeah. yes yep so uh anyway we have some fun coming soon we love you guys we just lost our kid where'd he go <laughs> we love you guys see you <laughs>